most uh, people watching expected that Theresa May would lose, but not by nearly the amount that she did. This uh, leaves a, a lot of questions about what comes next. Oh, yeah, so many questions. I mean, we said this time yesterday, didn't we? We expected her to lose, uh, but then carry on. But my goodness me, even just literally an hour before the vote at uh, 2 Eastern time yesterday as well, they knew she would lose on her own bench. She thought around about 80 of her own MPs may vote against her. Uh, 118, a third of her party, voted against her last night. 432 to 202 was the vote of MPs voting against her version of Brexit. Absolutely enormous. You have to go back to 1924 when Ramsay MacDonald, a Labour Prime Minister, lost by 166 to anything near comparable. But this blew all the records out of the water. But already, straight away, she said, look, I will listen to people on the other side of the House. I will try and build a consensus for a deal that then I can take to Brussels as well. Because as I mentioned yesterday, she's got to come back to Parliament within three days of this defeat, which means Monday at the latest as well. But seconds later, though, Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, said, I'm going to bring forward a vote of no confidence. Again, I think we talked about that yesterday. That that vote of no confidence happens in the uh, House of Parliament behind me at 7 p.m. again tonight, so 2 Eastern time as well. Now, here's very interesting news. If all of her MPs and the DUP, which is the Ulster Unionist, if they vote with her, which they are expected to do, she will pass this confidence vote. So she's had the biggest defeat in British political history, but then gets a confidence vote 24 hours later. It seems almost crazy. But I just spoke to one leading Brexiteer from her own party, one of the, the big beasts of the Brexit uh, world, and he said to me, no, I think everyone will vote with her tonight. So she will pass that vote tonight from her own party. But he said to me, he said that does not mean that in future future votes of no confidence, and if Jeremy Corbyn wants, he can bring as many as he wants. He can bring one every day if he wants to. It doesn't mean that in future votes of no confidence, we won't vote against her if the government does something stupid. So basically, she's still going to be held hostage to one side, which is the hard Brexiteers. So she tries now then to build up some form of consensus uh, with the opposition parties. But I spoke to the chairman of the Labour Party today as well, the MP for uh, Wandsbeck, and he said to me, what does consensus mean? Well, it means her dropping her, uh, her opposition to a customs union, and a customs union, of course, would mean we'd be having a Brexit, but it'd be a very soft version of Brexit as well. But at the moment, as I say, Parliament has decided what it really doesn't want is a question of can they find something that together they do want. Just a couple of quick scenarios for you. Second referendum people are still talking about. That's a long shot as well. General election, well, that depends on tonight's vote. Uh, and no Brexit deal at all and leaving without one on March 29th, that one has gone further into the long grass. But uh, again, how we get to a, a form of Brexit that, that works for Parliament and works for the country is anyone's guess. Back to you. Hey, Steve, you're just talking about trying to get all of the different uh, members of Parliament there in your country to agree on something. Then you have to get the EU to agree on the other side of that, too, which really yeah. lengthens the odds on any of this. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what has been said today by Michel Barnier, who is the chief negotiator for the European Commission, he said, well, it would require Mrs May to drop some of her red lines. And her biggest red line at the moment is the fact that she doesn't want to be in a customs union. If she manages to drop that, if that's, that's the olive branch she gives, not only to the opposition Labour Party, who do want to be in a customs <coughs> union, and to the European Commission as well, that could solve the issue of the Irish backstop. It would mean that we don't need necessarily an Irish backstop backstop, which would solve one host of issues that a lot of people are dead against as well, especially, of course, uh, unionists on north of the border as well. So she has to move some way. Whether she's prepared to do that remains to be seen. But very difficult for her to be ousted by her own party now because basically she's got one year's grace there because she won a vote quite recently. But can she be ousted tonight? Seems unlikely. Could she be ousted in the near future if indeed, um, the, the, the basically, it just seems there's no way forward for her version of Brexit? That remains to be seen. But at the moment, uh, another key vote yet again tonight. There are concerns, though, that uh, Jeremy Corbyn is just playing politics. And actually, he didn't need to go through this tonight. He could have just gone forward with a more traditional form of opposition or indeed sent the olive branch himself, said, yes, I will work with you, Mrs May.